anything of better picture of her is doing too much of a service to her. This is how she should be remembered. A ghostly image that's best forgotten because it looks like someone accidentally had diarrhea after eating way too much Taco Bell, as in literally any Taco Bell. And it just came out, hit the wall, and kind of looked like someone's face. So they called Ripley's Believe It or Not. They brought it to a museum and thought, you know what? This is too bad. So they put it out on the backstage, just left it out there. A rat started pissing on it because it was not so desperate that it would try and eat that yet. And then we get this image. Today we are going to finish Super Eye Patch Wolves, the bizarre world of fake psychics, faith healers, and mediums. Last time around, I stopped because that was absolutely enraging. Every step of the way, I was literally very close to thinking of just putting my hand through my monitor because this was not okay. More importantly, though, we're going to finish this today. This is not because I want to finish this video. This is me doing it because I actually think Super Eye Patch Wolf is doing a really good job in getting this across and showing exactly how fucked up it is. And it's like the weirdest time where I absolutely hate him for doing such an amazing job that I completely respect and am glad that he's making it like this. Link below original video. Let's get into it before I do the smart thing and run away screaming. Kill spoon on my Cadillac, which I asked. You know, you I probably should have skipped past this. It pisses me off still. Here. Randy, meanwhile, would go on to offer a $1 million cash prize to anyone who could prove they had legitimate psychic power, of which hundreds of people applied and none were successful. I'm just going to take a second to enjoy this because I doubt for a second that he's going to stick around too long. Because one, he's old, and two, we just saw the previous asshole being alive now, and it pisses me off. Thank you for that moment of the only good part I think I'm going to get out of this video. I'm savoring it as much as I can. Randy continuing his fight to disprove psychics and expose frauds for the rest of his career. And the thing was, people hated him for it. He Why? was seen as this cold, vindictive, scientific entity, attacking innocent spiritualists and pushing back on a movement that was ultimately- Because they're fucking brainwashed by the cult! Because it's like, oh, how dare you attack our great leader because he said he could talk to my dead mother who said I should give him all my worldly possessions. Mother who doesn't want you to say no to me. And if I actually listen to you, then I literally gave all my worldly possession to a con artist who I completely not. I can't do that. You have to be lying. I don't even fucking. The worst part is that's not even a specific example. You can find literally millions of those stories online. And it pisses me off. Harmless. No, I you say Yuri Gill is a fake. fake. No. You came here and you've given never. everybody a lot of lip never. service. No, 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 and no. you haven't done anything I except show us a lot of tricks that you I learned out of your two bad act that you're not I working never in. Saw. I never saw. They're, they're defending the con artist. And this brings us to a really important question. Is there actual danger in people claiming to be psychic? Yes! Every fucking second, yes! Sylvia Brown oh, no. rose to fame in the late 80s. She'd appear on daytime talk no, shows no, no, demonstrating no, 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 her ability no, no, no. to channel the dead. Those spirits giving her visions of the future, letting her... Inst this is the one that pissed me off the most. The rest, they're just scams. You can get around them. But this, this is explicitly going for people... Anything to do with mediums, it's always the people who really just have that emotional connection to someone who died. And they're devastated, and they're vulnerable. And this is literally designed to fleece them. To take money from them. To make them believe something good happened. Did it? No! They're just stealing from them! It's just theft that they've convinced you that you want! I'm not even caffeinated right now. This is decaf. It's also green tea, so well, there is actually caffeine, but not nearly as much as the rage I'm feeling right now. I waited until near midnight because I thought, you know what? I'll be so tired. There's no way I can get hyped right now. Oh, that fucking didn't work. Instantaneously diagnose people's medical conditions and most infamously 
allow her to help locate missing and dead people. Something uh. she was very, very bad at. You yeah. lost my boyfriend tragically um, a few years ago. They never found him. Oh yeah, trash daytime I've had TV. had such a hard time since every day. See this? This is the part I hate. It's someone who's getting emotional, who is in distress, who is crying on TV, who's actually come here because they think there's just that one way, just that little ray of hope. And we're about to see something that I am absolutely certain. I'm going to need to just pause the stream for a second. If there's a cut, I might need to go replace a monitor. The reason why you didn't find him is because he's in water. You can't find somebody. Well, it was September 11th. There was no, he was a fireman, but. There's Who no, see, I keep seeing him in water. <sighs> Super eye patch wolf, you fucking son of a bitch. You picked someone who you know exactly where they're at, and you're seeing someone distressed because they're. It was a fucking 9 11 first responder. You know what happened to them. And then there's this just meeting going like, oh, no, honey, I don't care. No, they didn't die in the towers. Good on you for picking the absolute most fucking enraging one. And bad on me for hoping this is the most enraging one. Says he couldn't breathe and he was filled with water. Well, if they were trying to put the fire out, Montel, they could have, you know, I why would you let her keep going on here? This is literally just her being an asshole to someone in distress who's... I'm just... This is the kind of point where if someone stood up and punched her in the face, I would just say I never saw that on TV. No one saw that. It never happened. It's like the clip just decided to disappear. There was no violence. She already had the missing dozen teeth. Uh, yeah. What Sylvia is trying to do here is a technique known as cold reading, a trick media- It's also coming across as massive asshole. ...mediums used to convince people they're actually talking to dead people and accessing information they never otherwise could have. When in reality, what they're actually doing is leading with a very general statement that has a high likelihood of being true, particularly in a room full of people. And there's some type of restriction, and then he just tells me that he died suddenly. Um, I am being pulled into the section. Somebody passed in a car accident. I want to say there's either a Suzanne or a Susie connection to this. Starting with a, a gentleman, Reg, and he's also mentioned Frank. And then when someone bites, honing in on details with precise manipulative wording. So Every second, I just... Nothing to say, just, I just need a second, I just need a second. I hate this. I hate this so much because it's just taking advantage of people every fucking second. Is there stuff beyond my comprehension? Sure, I'm an idiot, there's a lot. This though, this isn't beyond comprehension. It's just smoke and mirrors and then just flat out lying to people. It's just hurting them and making them believe they like the pain. So for example, you could say, your father didn't have an interest in cars, did he? This is a good bet because most men of a certain age and generation like cars. And so if the answer is yes, hey, you were right. But if the answer is no, you were also right because you already planted a negative in the original statement. And now you can just option select into, ah, uh, I didn't think so, and move on. These aren't just techniques applicable only to just this, oh yeah, you're doing this. This is how you say exactly what people want to hear. And it's just such an easy kiss-ass technique. Making sure that you never say what someone doesn't want to hear. So you just give yourself an out. Also used by con artists. I keep bringing that up because it keeps being true. It's like this is a form of con. And the people who do it, they don't give a fuck. They're here to get money from you.
from the people you love, from the people who are in pain, especially the people in pain, because they are going to be the easiest marks. People who are trying to set aside reality to get what they want because they are desperate will set aside reality to get what they want because they are desperate. And anyone who would tell them the truth is going to say, I'm sorry, you can't. On to your next gamble, unscathed. Cold reading can be incredibly convincing when done right, but when it's done wrong... Uh, Sylvia, I don't know how she died. Please, if you can, how did she die? She was shot. You're literally just doing this kind of bullshit to a grieving mother, apparently, because they're asking about Sylvia. It's... They're together, the arms around. That's most likely mother and father or mother and family member, like a brother, maybe. Sylvia Brown uncovering the truth. Oh, they're literally... Why is it always Montel? Is this guy... Ugh. Trashy daytime TV, that's why. When you look at Jerry Spring and go, you know what? That was classy. And it doesn't come off as a mistake to say it that way. And it, I'm no, no, not even a joke there. That's not even a joke. That is a legitimate fact by comparison. She just collapsed in her room. I don't know, but something looks like combustion. They found nothing on the orch or top. I don't care. Nothing. I did not add this music. This is the only version of the footage I could find. <sighs> but it looks like something hit her in the chest. The reason I'm focusing on Sylvia isn't just because she was bad at cold reading, it's because despite the fact she was so bad at it, her. she was still massively successful. She charged $750 for a 30 minute psychic phone reading. She released 57 books, one of which was about what dead celebrities were doing in the afterlife and even had people pay thousands of dollars to join her on psychic cruises. That is how easy it is to succeed in this business. But where okay. This is where I usually want to make just a lighthearted comment, something stupid, just <laughs> dumb comment, because this is so stupid, I need to say something to break the tension. But you know what? Fuck that. This lady is an absolute piece of shit and disgusting human being, because it, specifically the medium, she's literally just going out there and abusing people in pain. Psychic cruises? It's like, hey, pay for a cruise, which is even more expensive than $700 a lot of the time. And that's if it's just you alone. But no, she's definitely jacking up the rights. Because if it was just $700 to call her, a cruise is probably multiple thousands. And these are not new clips. So these are not 7000 now. This is not 700 now. This is not multiple thousands now. This is maybe, at best, considering the compression ratio of the screen, it's a little smaller in a different uh, aspect, probably 90s if we're lucky. Yeah, it's probably at least the 90s, maybe earlier. For all I know, it could be the 80s, considering some of those clips. $700 in the 80s is a lot. Thousands of dollars in the 80s! That is just going to rich people. It's like, hey, you're in pain. I can fix that. It's called morphine. But don't worry, we don't have morphine yet. It's just cocaine. And that would still be a better option because at least that way you don't actually think, hmm, this is actually great. You know you're doing something wrong because it is literally illegal. This isn't. I thought the last video, just the last half was bad. And I just, I don't even think we're at the worst stuff yet. It's just, it's, mm -hmm. Where this goes from shameful to truly abhorrent. No is her work in finding missing persons. What did she, uh, At multiple oh, points, she's that. predicted a missing child to be alive, giving the parents hope, only oh. for that child to be found dead. Montel again. She's not dead. Apologies about footage quality again. It's the only version I can find. No, 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 trust me. This is the kind of aspect quality she deserves. Blurry and shit. Anything of better picture of her is doing too much of a service to her. 
and a disservice to anyone who could see it because this is how she should be remembered. A ghostly image that's best forgotten because it looks like someone accidentally had diarrhea after eating way too much Taco Bell, as in literally any Taco Bell. And it just came out, hit the wall, and kind of looked like someone's face. So they called Ripley's Believe It or Not. They brought it to the museum and thought, you know what? This is too bad. So they put it out on the backstage, just left it out there. A rat started pissing on it because it was not so desperate that it would try and eat that yet. And then we get this image. But for some reason, she was taken and put into some kind of slavery thing and taken into Japan. You Four years later, the little girl's remains were found near Fort Worth, Texas. An autopsy showed she was killed shortly after vanishing. She's given tips on missing children's cases that led nowhere and diverted attention away from the actual investigation. Diverted People believe, of course they did. That's the entire thing about this video. It's people wasting money and time. But And if they're just missing, then they're... How many people actually died because she got them away from where they were at? Case in point, just listen to what Sylvia Brown told Sean Hornbeck's parents about their son's kidnapper nearly four years ago on the Montel Williams show. Montel again. He was um, dark skinned. Is he still with us? Thankfully, Sean Hornbeck was found last week alive and well. His alleged abductor, Michael Devlin, is not Hispanic, and he didn't have dreadlocks at the time of the abduction. And she even once told a mother that her missing daughter was dead, only for that daughter to be found six years later alive, the victim of a kidnapping. The mind-melting tragedy being that by this point, the girl's mother had died never to learn her daughter was still alive. Please, please don't clarify that she killed herself in depression. Please don't clarify that. Please don't clarify that. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I just know. I hate everything about this. Ah. You know, I, I see a lot of videos that hit me emotionally. This is just worse because it's real, and I hate this so much. This woman is a ghoul, a vulture of misery, but for as I mean, if you want to be nice about it, yeah. She was, she's not alone. Oh, no. There's no, 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 no. I'm trying not to look at how much of the red bars left because I know he's going to say more things. No, no, no. Bizarre trend in missing persons cases, particularly with children, where Death dozens of psychics descend on the victim's family, all offering different readings on how they can find their child or even more grimly communicate with them in the. And every step of the way, this is people like, hey. I can get famous by giving a tip. I mean, it doesn't have to be real. No one thinks like it's a real, so I could just be wrong. But the people who want to believe me just think that I was right all along. <sighs> Going there, wasting time, wasting effort. It, it just every second of the way. And the thing is, it's bullshit. They know they're lying. They are actively just profiteering off misery and pain. afterlife. I've read multiple cases where people so desperate to be reunited with their deceased loved ones have paid psychics hundreds of thousands of dollars. Fuck! $718,000! Just got sucked in! One? That's a hustle. Two, that is a literal hustle that should be going to jail, except this kind of bullshit isn't illegal. Lying to people to get money is perfectly legal, unless you're doing it to investment. If someone was investing in psychics, then it would be illegal. But just stealing from people because they are stupid enough to believe this? Well, I mean, that would never happen to me, so I need to pass laws for it, is the entire reason it's not illegal.
I swear this video is going to kill me. I thought the last one was bad. No, we're not just a tiny little fraction. We're just... It's, um... And I get it. It's easy to victim blame here. And to ask how anyone 000? could be so gullible as to fall for this. Because people who lost loved ones are desperate. And it hurts. That's not even a how are they so gullible. It's how is anyone not... You don't go into this thinking clearly. You go into this so emotionally compromised that you can't make rational decisions. You're desperate. This is the people who need to be protected from themselves because they will do horrible things themselves thinking that they have no other choice to see that person that they're desperate to see. And they won't. And anyone who tells them otherwise is lying to them because they're listening to the person telling them, no, 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 you can see them again. You just have to give me money and then I can do it. But that's not going to help. And then it falls back into the desperation, ignoring everyone who tells you what you don't want to hear and hearing what you want from the person who says everything you want to hear. And all it costs you is everything. If they're able to get everything, they will take it. If they can get you to take loans, they'll take it. It's just a scam. This is why I get pissed off about all supernatural stuff. Because it's such a cool and fun thing, but it's only really used by people who are just trying to grift off the desperate, off the people who have problems, who are just trying to find something. And this is the one thing they grab onto and they lose so much to people who don't give a fuck about them. And I hate this. But according to Bob Nygaard, a private investigator who works exclusively in psychic fraud, the one reoccurring characteristic of his clients is deep personal trauma. These are people who have had their lives destroyed by sickness, by abuse, by loss, damaged, vulnerable people who want to believe that death isn't the end, that they could still have one more moment with the person they loved. And I can't blame them for that. But there are healthy and unhealthy ways to deal with loss. What we're seeing isn't just unhealthy. It's actively violent. Because there's really no other way to look at this than to call it violence to a person's spirit. There's no other way. Because it is intentionally inflicting damage, to inflict wounds on people so that they believe whatever kind of bullshit you're selling. Because you want what they have. Money. And if they're willing to take it because they just need that closure, you'll keep pushing it. And you'll take it. And you'll take, and you'll take. And that's the entire point of it. But I can absolutely blame the parasites who prey on them. There's another deeper, arguably more troubling layer to all this. And that's when supernatural fantasies become so strong, they start to inflict physical damage on people. Okay, no, I, 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 I can't. I can't do this. To, I, I can't. I just can't. It's too much right now. I thought I was finishing this tonight. I'm not going to. I cannot do it. I just can't. It has beaten me tonight. Because I'm just too angry and upset and enraged and just wanting to do something stupid. Like, admittedly, calling a call center and, you know, specifically one of those anti-scam call centers and referring a psychic hotline to it. And I don't know how much an anti-scam call center costs at this point, but I would love to do that. And I think they might be fine with it, but I don't want to because honestly, that's just a whole bunch of worms that involves actually talking to people. And that's just my line. I don't do the talking thing well. But it's tempting because this is just... It's not giving closure to people in pain. It's just furthering the trauma because that's how you get more money. You make them think they need it more. <sighs> I'll see if I can bring myself to finish it next week. Right now, I just can't. God damn you, Super Eye Patch Wolf. You're doing a good job at it. This is an amazing video. It's a great deep dive. It's showing how fucked up this is. 
But damn, if you're not doing a good job showing just how fucked up it is. So very fucked up. I'm going to go do something else. See what happens. Probably look at kitten videos. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.